Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Okay, my friends, this is the Billingham 225 uh, camera bag, which I was lucky enough to pick up second hand just before Christmas. So what I thought I'd do today is do a quick little video, show you what it looks like, um, and then take it out for a bit of a field trial. Before I go out, let's um, kind of have a look at what we've got. So it's a, yeah, well, Billingham, if you don't know, they're handmade in England, very expensive camera bags. Um, this one cost me, um, I think it was £30 uh, off Gumtree, so I was very, very lucky to get that. It's obviously, it's probably, I don't know, 10 years old maybe, but you know, it looks in very, very good condition. Uh, this particular one, the 225, this one's in the black canvas with the leather trim. And as you can probably see, it's all about the leather. We've got leather, we've got brass fittings. Um, you've got a nice carry strap on the top, really big, thick shoulder strap, uh, makes it nice and comfy to, to carry around. This sort of size camera bag could be quite a nice sweet spot really, because you can kind of fit uh, an SLR body with a lens on, a spare lens, a flash pack, um, and numerous accessories. So on the outside, as you can see, we've got our straps, we've got a handle, we've got our shoulder strap. And then on the reverse, we've got a nice big pocket. So what I've got in here are just my manuals, my flash gels, that sort of stuff. Uh, all high quality zips. So let's have a quick look inside. Now, at the moment, because I'm new to the camera bag, it, I'm still getting used to the way you have to undo everything. So I'm used to zips and Velcro. Maybe with Billingham, it's a little bit different. So we can undo that strap there. And then these are basically quick release leather buckles that you can take open so then we've got our first two pockets on the front so we kind of pop them off like so and then we've got two nice big pockets on the front and I've got sort of my cleaning gear in that one so I've got my lens cloth my lens pen my blowers are all in there at the moment what have I got in there just got a, uh, a body cap so let's uh, close that up again and can you might be able to see can you see on the video how this works you kind of push it through the little um, brass fitting um, and then you kind of click it down to hold it into place. The, the advantage being with this system, obviously, that it's a very, very quiet way of doing things. So then we've got our first uh, kind of compartment. And at the moment, I've just got my Gorilla Pod in there. And then I've got things like my um, polarizing filters and my um, spare batteries in there. And on the, this side, I would normally put my uh, SJ4000 action cam, but I'm using the, that camera to take this video, so it's not there. There's a memory card holder, spare battery for the SJ4000. And then let's have a look inside the main compartment next, which is in here. And so this might be a bit tricky to see, actually but you can kind of fold the canvas back. And then what we've got in here is we've got my 350, uh, 350D, that's going back in time a bit, isn't it? 600D Canon DSLR, my uh, 55 to uh, 250 IS lens, and then we've got my um, uh, camera. Uh, oh, sorry. Then we've, got, <laughs> then we've got my flash, which tucks nicely in there. Then you can see the lens hood in there. So as you can see, Billingham 225, you can fit quite a lot in it. It's not as big as the Retrospective 30, which is quite exciting because this could be a really good size bag for me to go out with because it will make it very difficult for me to overload myself, which I'm incredibly... I do that an awful lot with my other camera bags, but this one, I can fit, you know, the camera, the camera body... Sorry, the camera body with a lens on, the telephoto lens, and a flash, and my SJ4000 action camera. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So without further ado, let's get out there and uh, do a little bit of a field trial.
Okay, so we're here on top of Fort Gilkicker. Um, I hate heights. Leaving this um, lump of earth on uh, in Stokes Bay is only about, I don't know, 200 feet high. I feel queasy. Cover up those steps, it really does me in. But this has been a field trial for the um, Billingham uh, 225 camera bag, which again, as I said earlier, I picked up really cheap. I was so lucky. It's a, it's a little bit old, but it only cost me £30 off Gumtree. And I've got to say, it's, it's a great camera bag, really, really light. This uh, shoulder strap is nice and large, so I haven't really felt the weight. I must admit, I've had my camera with the 55 to 250 on uh, my uh, R strap, so that hasn't been in the bag. But when it wasn't in the bag, it, it didn't feel very heavy at all. And a lot of that is because of the fact that it is a smaller bag than the retro. Uh, respective 30 from Think Tank Photo. It's difficult to overload it, but I can fit more in it than I can in the Photo Runner from, from Low Pro. So I think it's a really nice size. The thing I need to get used to though, is the catch system with these kind of leather straps and uh, button popper type, well not poppers, but you kind of slide them in because they're a little bit, um, well, I'm used to Velcro, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just used to Velcro. Um, changing lenses isn't too bad. It's not as quick as the, uh, photo runner or the retro 30 because of the way that the flaps kind of close um, but I can still get it on my kit and as I say this could be a really good size for me because it enables me to carry you know the things I really want which is my camera and body my telephoto lens a flash unit and then my SJ4000 which I'm filming this on you know so I can do little video clips and stuff like that so there we go uh, field trial one field test one review if you like of the Billingham 225 you know, a thumbs up. They are very, very expensive. I can never afford to buy one of these new. But if you see one going uh, second hand for, for a song, um, or you've got the cash, you might, might want to consider one because um, it's incredibly well made, incredibly comfortable, and they last for years and years. Okay, so look out for some more field trials and a full review uh, coming up pretty soon. My name's Rob from RobLonPhoto.com. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like the videos, click like, please subscribe, and email me at scalespeeder at gmail.com. Thanks again.